Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a spirit message for Santa Capricorn, and keep in mind that this will not, oh my goodness, this will not resonate for all of you. If you'd like a personal reading, I'll leave that description down below. Another thing you do is we also have tarot classes, which will also be in the description down below. Capricorn on the bottom of the deck. For the overall energy here, for your current situation, you have the Six of Wands. Capricorn, that tells me that you are going to be successful. You are heading towards success. Public recognition, maybe even stepping into a leadership role where a lot of people look up to you. We have the Queen of Swords. This is air energy. So I don't know if you have air placements or if you have an air sign that's going to be around you, Capricorn. We have the Hermit. And this is Virgo energy. The Knight of Swords. The Two of Cups. Six of Swords. So Capricorn, it looks like you've been in this energy, okay? You've been kind of like going within here, kind of being alone. Kind of pushing people away in a sense. But that is shifting, that is changing here, Capricorn. Six of Swords, Two of Cups. You have a connection coming in. Doesn't always have to be romantic. However, there is a connection there. Could be with an air sign, a Virgo, or a water sign, because we do have two cups. Either way, very strong connection that you're heading towards here, Capricorn. On the bottom of the deck, what's coming towards you at the magician? Look at that. You manifesting what you want because you are at that higher vibration you have moved towards that okay that, that's how you manifest is being at that higher higher level okay if you're if, you, if you're vibing low you don't really manifest a whole lot but you've moved towards a higher level right i'm dropping cards we have the knight of cups we have the queen of swords once again, we have the Two of Swords, we have the Seven of Wands, Two of Pentacles, look at this, Capricorn, what I, honestly, see that there's been a lot of people here kind of like, watching you work, watching you push through life. Right. Waiting for you to fail. I see you achieving success here and then you proving them wrong like yes, I I achieved this and now you're happy because you you really did something. You proved these people wrong here. And it's like, well now you tried to do what I did, but they can't because they're not you, Capricorn. see some messages and advice for you. Your number 17, out of darkness, the light is born. Scott what this talks about is you bring light and hope to humanity, okay? Even at times of chaos, even at times of darkness, you bring that light back to people. Number 38, death and magic. So this talks about release, okay? It's not actual death. Transformation. Six of Swords, that is change. Maybe some of you could be dealing with magic, but this also talks about the birth of a new. There's a new you. Angels that are currently with you, we have our 28, Archangel Gabriel. Number three, with Adna Chiel. This is telling, this is the angel, like, of you being in your personal power, of you being your individual self here. Okay, those two angels are with you. We have our 29, the Aqua Marine Star. Expression. I express my intuition with self-confidence and love, so it looks like you're doing that in your Capricorn. You're expressing your intuition with full, total confidence. And then we have number 33, which is an important number. Door to Romance. Look at this. <laughs> Opportunities for love, Capricorn, are being open to you. Okay, so there is there's a possibility for that. Connections, right? 
You have talents. Yeah, you're very talented, and that's going to lead to a lot of success. Last card for you, number 12, Gates of Heaven. All beings have an ultimate spiritual destiny of happiness and freedom. Beloved Kuan Yin shines tireless, tireless compassion upon all life to this end. Yet sometimes attachments, low vibrational beings, entities, and elements become frightened of divine love and believe they will do better to hide in human energy fields instead. This blocks progress towards liberation where human beings and low vibrational beings can pass through the gates of heaven into peace, bliss, and homecoming to the spiritual source of all life with this kind of core. So this is like, yes, death magic, six of swords, right? You are releasing low vibrational beings, thoughts, things that are holding you back, and you're moving towards this higher vibration. What was I talking about before? Remember that magician? You're moving towards that higher vibration of manifestation here, Capricorn. Alright. So, Capricorn, that is all I have for you. Let me know if that resonates. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more content, don't forget to like, subscribe. Bye, guys.